Hi, my name is Steve Goldhaber, and I'm a wedding photographer in Chicago. This is my portfolio. It's got um, some of my favorite pictures that I want to share with you. Let's go have a look. This one is a picture of um, a wedding from Mary and Matt. And the funniest thing about uh, this wedding was that at the reception, like it was nonstop dancing. It must have been like three and a half hours of dancing. Um, and everyone had their own unique flavor to kind of doing their own thing on the dance floor. And this is a picture where um, the bride is on the right and one of her maids of honor is actually on the left. And she was doing this funky kind of like retro 80s dance maneuver. So I got a couple different shots of her doing this um, funky move. But the best part is, you know, she's doing her funky move. But if you look at the bride's reaction, it's just like this, this joy and and happiness and I think I, I love this picture so much because that's you know I captured what the bride was feeling that day so her her reaction to her friend doing something funny um, and you look at the picture and it really does feel like you know that's that's the essence of what was happening on the dance floor it was it was um, for a couple hours it was like that um, it's a really unusual shot because this was a wedding for the couple it was Karen and Chris and they actually lived downtown Chicago about a block away from where the reception was, which was at the Allerton Hotel. And when I met with them during the planning phases, what they really talked about was how cool it was to like have these city shots because they had you know, both gone to law school in the same kind of area and they really wanted to incorporate the skyline into a lot of these shots. So we actually went to the top floor of the Allerton Hotel. And if you're familiar with the Allerton Hotel, it's got all this really interesting red old school brick. Um, with these black fire escapes and we actually and I don't even know if this was legal or not but the doors were open and we actually went outside on the fire escape because there's this beautiful shot looking over Michigan Avenue um, so I had Karen go down in uh, her wedding slippers that day and actually had some beautiful shots of her with Michigan Avenue in the background and then I actually went and had her stay there where I went to the other side of the tower and the picture that I'm showing you is actually a picture of her dad taking a photograph of her. So when I told, you know, Karen and her dad, you know, give me two minutes while I go over to the other side of the building, he kind of did his own little photo session with her. And, I, and it was so great because I got to the other side and I looked at what was going on and I was like, this is just such a great moment. This is kind of dad, you know, wanting to get his own pictures in of his bride, you know, of, of his daughter. Um, and it was a great picture. It was very spontaneous, and it's just so unusual. You look at, you look at a, a bride who is on a fire escape in a wedding. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make sense. But I think that's why I like the picture so much. Is that it's so interesting, and it also it meant so much to the bride and groom because, you know, they had always seen the top of this hotel and were really interested in the incorporating it into the picture. All right, uh, another picture I want to show you is from an, a wedding I did for Ashley and Paul and the really interesting thing about this picture is that Paul had been in a band before so he had a lot of um, his, a lot of his friends who were in the wedding or who were guests at the wedding actually were his former band members and this is actually towards the end of the night where they were singing It's a Wonderful Life and you know they were so into it and you can kind of see that you know it was this great emotional moment where all these guys were reunited got three or four guys here who are kind of pouring their hearts out um, and singing their their song and I actually incorporated the actual lyrics into their album when I produced it because it was just such a powerful moment for that night. Another picture I wanted to share is from a wedding for Julie and Mark and this was actually a really small wedding. It was held in the courtyard of a Italian restaurant called Rose Angeles. Um, so it was a very small ceremony, and the funny part was, in the middle of the ceremony, right when they were exchanging vows, this girl, who had borrowed her mom's cell phone, walks up in the aisle, and you know wants to get a shot of them exchanging vows. So she takes out this cell phone, um, and I kind of had to—I saw what was going on, so I actually zoomed out, and. You know, this is the picture of this little girl standing up, taking a picture on the cell phone. And it's just, to me, it's it's so unique. And, you know, the part I remember about this picture is that everyone in the audience there was just kind of laughing at, like, how absurd it was that this girl just went walking up. But again, it uh, it's just a really interesting shot. And it's one that I'll probably never be able to recreate because, you know, how many people walk up in the middle of the aisle and take a picture with a with
so the other um, picture I want to share with you was one I did for Brad and Christine, and this was actually a, a great example of, you know, we when I do when I do posed shots, you know, we'll do some that are very structured and people are looking all at me, but I always like to mix in some different things. So this is a shot that started off as a very posed picture, but then the way that I direct, directed them was to look away from me, and I actually moved over to get a different angle, and I made, I may have said something like, you know, all right, I want Brad and Christine to look at each other, but everyone else can do their own thing. So this is just a great picture that, you know, it does a good job of, of capturing all the people in the, in the bridal party, um, but it's very, it's an intimate moment and it doesn't look posed or, or too forced. Um, and it, the funny story about this picture is I actually went over to Christine and Brad's house and I walked into the living room and here's this, you know, blown up picture of this exact photograph and it was just great to see, you know, it's always weird when you go into someone's house and you see your own work on their wall, but, um, it's funny that, you know, I love, that was my favorite photograph from the wedding and it was also their favorite.